Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will finally share with you how my herb room turned out. For me it's just a magical place and it is exactly what I intended it to be. So I will show you some before footage and uh, some DIYs that I made along the way to create this space and then the final reveal. I will have loads and loads of DIYs in this space that I made in previous videos and I will have links down in my description to all of these DIY videos if you are interested. So stay tuned for all this. This is how the space looked like before. It's the space right at the end there. We're going to divide it. So it's full of uh, things. And in the end there, you have a big tank as well, a gas tank, I think it was from the beginning. It's empty now, but it, uh, it's a hassle and uh, cost a bit to remove it. So we decided to keep it there. We have the space, so why not? As you can imagine, there will be quite a few working hours spent in this space to get it finished. And these wood boards right there, the three of them, I will use as a working surface in my herb room. So we removed them and my husband is helping me to remove any unevenness and sand them down so they are nice and smooth. Now a wall is up, looking pretty, starting to look like a room now and the floor is there. And now we have laid the carpet. We salvaged these doors, I have a video on that, but I didn't know what to do on that top part and we didn't have any handles put on because we didn't know what to do there. The top part I decided to go for these five canvases and they were just the right size for that space on top of the door and I'm painting them in the same green khaki color that I have used for the door. I did have to apply three coats to get the good coverage to cover these pictures. As soon as dried, it's ready to embellish and I will use these leaves from my garden. They have nice veins on them, which I like. So I will um, mix some colors. I start with the dark colors, black actually. That will be shadows of these leaves. So I'm just putting on the paint on the leaves with a paintbrush and pressing them onto the canvas. This video is part of the Sunday Fun Day Challenge hosted by Diana and Jani at Deco Easy and Kay and Trish at Crafting Cousins. And if you're not familiar with these ladies, be sure to check them out later. I will leave links down in my description to their channels as well as to the playlist of this challenge so you can get loads of inspiration. I have done a few shades now and I'm going lighter and lighter. I'm on light green at the moment, just playing around. There are no rhyme or reason how many prints you make. I just continue until I am happy with the result. And the final touch is the white leaves that I'm putting on right here. The white color will give you a sense of reflection from the sun. Now I'm taking a white acrylic and I'm going to write a few words for me, how I want to live my life. On this one it says, be loving. On 
Now on to the handles for this same door. I have these handles already. They are quite modern and the French doors are not. So I want to just uh, age them a little bit. So I wanted to put them on these pieces of wood strips. I have cut out a shape that I want to use on my wood strips and I'm going to put it on the wood strip and just trace it like you see me do here. I think this way it will give the handles a more aged feel. And then I'm just going to cut them out with the help of my jigsaw and I have four of them two on one side of the door and two on the other side of the door if you're new to my channel hi i am marika and on this channel i do lots of diys trash to treasure renovation of my home some pottery some painting anything creative really please join me hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends they have all been cut out and now I'm measuring and make sure that the holes I'm going to drill are just correct because if I don't the screws won't fit into the handles. So this is precision work. And after I'm done I will put them all together and clamp them like so and then I will drill them all together like you see me do here and I have four holes to drill two for the handles and two to attach them to the door and now I'm using this tool to make an indent so the screws can be sunk in and won't show as much my wood strips are a bit square at the moment so i want to round the edges and i do that with a rasp and some sandpaper all the way around and now it's time to spray paint them in a matte black spray paint. I applied two coats to get a good coverage. And then we attach the door handles to these wood strips before we put them on the door, like you see my husband do here. Now on to my next DIY for this space are these beautiful chandelier wool sconces. They have wires so they were once lamps but I will not use them as that so that is the first thing I will do is to pull out the electric cords. And my plan is to put them on each side of this painting that I made some videos ago right there first thing I'm taking everything apart that I can take apart and pull out the cords These screws that are there to attach everything together are way too long now that I don't have the candle-like uh, feature on them. So I will just measure here how much I need to cut off and they are a bit different as you just saw. So just have to mark where I need to cut these off. I cut them off I will put everything together like you see me do here and uh, then it's time to paint them <laughs> you might think it's a shame to do that but I want to make them fit into my decor so I'm painting them in a matte black spray paint two coats
and now they look like this beautiful already but I will now take some of my creamy golden color this color here I will rub it onto my chandeliers with just my finger to highlight the texture of my pieces on to my last DIY before I show you the space I have painted this wall in a green khaki color the theme of this space and I have uh, just sketched out a wooden landscape that I will paint you can see some trees there and the fox And here I am painting away, starting with one of the trees and I'm just mixing some different colors, some greens, some grays, some blacks, some whites, different shades because there are a lot of shades on a tree. I had printed out a few pictures of woodlands and some animals that I want to portray here. Uh, to get some sort of a reference and I'm trying to in terms of the shades and the colors to just paint what I see and I'm advancing with my landscape as you can see here the owl is in place already looking pretty and the last thing I will do is the fox Again, just trying to put the colors in and paint what I see before I start to make it look like a fox. Final details on the fox to accentuate the, the fur a little bit to get even more shading in there to make it come alive a little bit. some pictures of the final result and the platform on the tank it's ready to be decorated because I will have a 3d effect in front of it as you can see here so welcome to my herb room my magical place I will show you around before we go into more detail. Let's start with the doors and this is how the handles turned out. Yeah, fit perfectly to the French doors I think. Have some cute full wreaths here and here is the upper part where I put my canvases be loving be kind be grateful be free be you I will not tell you about all of the things that I have here but uh, pretty much all of them are DIYs and I will link the videos in my description box 
so you can watch them later if you are interested as you can see this space is all about fall still I will incorporate some Christmas here but it's a magical place so I think it could be all seasons at the same time almost so we'll see what I do This mechanical calculator is so much fun. I think it's from the 1940s, but I'm not sure. A piece of history. And here you can see my beautiful moon wreath and some herbs hanging and behind it you can see through to the playroom for our grandchildren another video is up on that We have put uh, fabric on the ceiling, as you can see here, and it's to insulate a little bit because uh, this is still the outbuildings and the temperatures are quite low in here. In this beautiful Narnia cupboard, I have my dry herbs, some sage, thyme, rosemary, etc., etc., in here, and bottles for my herbs and jars and also a few things on the lower shelf here to DIY These shelves over here, I have my live plants. Not so many at the moment, but a few. Beautiful picture that my mother gave me once. Fairies. And I have taken in some plants from the garden that cannot stand the cold. So I keep them in here until spring. And I have planted some pine cones. I saw a photo online that it was possible. So I'm going to try it. And here you can see the temperature as of now, 13 degrees. Celsius that is if you like this video 
hit that like button and the subscribe button of course for more inspirational videos and share with a friend this will really 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 help my channel to grow i'm so grateful for your support And here you can see my wall sconces hanging on each side of my painting. Looking pretty. I didn't put candles in them, just some ivy. And here is my wall painting and my 3D decor just merging into the painting. So tell me what do you think of my herb room? For me it's my magical place as I said. I love the feeling of the space. Love to be here even though it's quite cold at this point and I need to really put on some warm clothes to stay here for a longer period of time. And here is the tank, you can hardly see it now. It's a perfect space for the platform and my display. A little closer look here. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are of this space and maybe you have some questions. I so love to read your comments. Can you see the fairies and the deer perhaps? The deer is harder to spot. Remember there is a playlist to this challenge so you can watch more of the other creators and get inspired head on over to my description box and hit that playlist link if you want to see more of my videos straight away more inspiration just hit that diy playlist icon appearing on the screen right here just click and enjoy thank you so very much for watching see you soon again in my next one until then take care bye